Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on the video. It's another day. I wanted to take a quick look at the shield resupply list because we've got some good stuff coming up. Dave 1283 playing MPQ and tomorrow we get a legendary token followed by a blue cover for four star the Hawkeye, the uh, Kate Bishop female Hawkeye. That'll be great addition to her champion list. Um, but I have some tough nudes. Yesterday I, I filmed a uh, about an hour long video and it got corrupted and I lost everything. The trouble with that is you don't know until it's over um, and uh, basically too late to recover anything. Uh, and so here's what you missed. What I uh, lost is yesterday we had a chance to pull from the uh, special store that had... Um, the new brand new five star rescue in it along with iron man mark 46 and daredevil as the five stars in the special store that sport store is gone now it ended last night for me and we did 45 draws from that legendary vault and um got some cool stuff but it's gone we uh, got all the draws in i added all the covers like we always do to my rewards list and um, that video is unrecoverable it seems like now there's a, still a tiny chance I could figure it out um, but so I'll give you guys a recap of what we did in that video and try to do some more stuff um, that's fun today uh, aside from all the big stuff that we got yesterday so uh, the news is we did have rescue um, on the roster from the tokens from the Alliance event from Civil War. That was great. We did in those 45 pulls just barely get Rescue's yellow ability, your shield, and so we added that in as well and leveled her up to 285 since I had ISO 8 on hand. And um, so she's about 17,000 health now. We didn't get her blue ability yet. We'll get that in a couple weeks when she enters the latest legendaries pull or I might have to wait a while to, to draw we'll see but your shield is kind of cool it is a uh, eight cost ability from of uh, yellow of course and so she will if you don't have any specials out she'll place two uh, small strength protectiles but the cool side of her passive ability uh, of this uh, passive side of this ability is um, if you have two uh, protectiles or more on the board she will burst heal your team for 215 health at the beginning of the turn every single turn um, the other side of this ability from uh, on the active side is if you have striker or, or attack tiles out she'll convert those to protectiles and I'm not too sure I want to do that a lot um, but it will strengthen them as well. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, your shield sounds pretty cool, and do or die, we already had this on. Uh, two separate shots for a cost of six red AP, deal 788 each, and if we have three or more friendly strike, attack, or protectiles on the board, she'll deal a third shot of 573. So yellow isn't going to get us to three on there unless we have a special tile from something else, but we'll look to get some action in with rescue soon. Separately from that, we did get a couple more levels in my Iron Man, and uh, he's now up to 461, my fourth strongest character above Star-Lord, Carol, and Okoye, interestingly enough, and so he's fun to play anyway. I don't mind building him up. We were going for covers in Daredevil, primarily with Rescue, and uh, we did get two covers on Daredevil, leveled up to 454. So what I pointed out last time was how um, important it is to worry about tanking when you're into the five-star realm because characters like Daredevil, you want them to be up front a lot to take the match damage from the other team. And we got his yellow match damage up to 682, so triple that is what a match three will get you. You know, well over um, 1,700, 1,800 or so in that, uh, did I say 1,800? Um, it's well well over 1800 into the 1900s for the match uh, damage from yellow so that's cool uh, but I was hoping for a little more rescue and um, now we'll have to wait for her to enter the legendary tokens and I'm really sad that we missed that uh, the actual video pulls because we did pretty good we got a couple more um, four-star bonus heroes for infinity war spider-man and other stuff 
So let's get into the action. I'll talk more about what we may or may not have missed from that and uh, had a request, and I did this yesterday, to run through the big enchilada with a four-star character. And uh, I want to do that today with Shuri. Let's see, let's go down here. There she is. I need to move this, I think. Shuri can handle the big enchilada all by herself. And I thought of a couple other characters that might be kind of fun to play along with her. Um, Shuri features some great features, some great um, uh, damage and uh, other benefits when there's uh, protect or uh, fortified tiles on the board. Sorry, so I thought we might bring along Prowler because if we run into any enemy special tiles, he will automatically f uh, fortify them for us. Now there, there, uh, it, I would need to probably pick a weaker character so we're not uh, overdoing it too much here um, to play along with. And so I thought we'd bring along four-star Hawkeye, uh, Ronin. I only have him at level 168, not a lot of covers in so far. And he's not a four-star champion, so this might help us get through this match without too much overkill. So good, we are featuring enemies that do create special tiles. That's going to be pretty... Good. You know what's bad about this board? In this entire board, for starting out, there's only two red tiles at all. That's pretty crazy. Figures, um, I should say, because we need red for Shuri to get going. But we'll make do with what we have here. Let's uh, look at Shuri's abilities here real quick. She has a passive blue ability where she... Um, as long as there are five fortified tiles on the board, enemy powers cost three AP more, and friendly powers cost three AP less to a minimum of three. So that can be amazing once you get fortified tiles out. All of your team's abilities cost so much less, and of course the enemies cost more. You could I have this at power level five. Some people run that at four or three, but I really feel as though I get a lot out of it by reducing my costs by three. Twin Blasters costs 11, but I pretty much never play this until I have the decreased cost from her other uh, abilities, so it really costs 8 for the most part. And um, it destroys 5 random tiles on the board. If one of them happens to be a fortified tile in that random destruction, it stuns the target for 2 turns and does over 3,000 damage. That seems to be enough damage for me. It does scale up quite a bit at five covers for more damage, but I just can't find a way uh, to reduce her blue from five covers and her red. Certainly, I feel as though you should run this at five cover level. When um, uh, she places six friendly, well, she places fortified tiles on the board and fortifies up to six friendly special tiles of ours. Uh, as basically a priority. So that's pretty cool if they're, if they're uh, strike attack or protect tiles she will fortify them including countdowns. Uh, countdowns you know when they expire they go off the board including the fortification so you might want to think about that a little bit. And the passive side is great whenever you match a fortified tile deal 2396 damage. That's so cool. Um, sometimes you get multiple fortified tiles in one match and um, you, you can just play this again at a cost of eight reduced down to five hopefully you can play it a few times so we'll look at the other characters abilities in a second i've spent a little bit too long already getting into this match so there it goes uh prowler, prowler will automatically fortify enemy special tiles and um shuri's abilities doesn't say if they're friendly fortifications or not they're fortif fortified uh, fortification itself doesn't have a basically a possessive there it's uh it's anyone's tile on the fortification so of course that's an enemy protect tile so we're gonna try our best to get red matches here and then we can start our business of creating a lot of special uh, tiles and fortification on the board and Shuri can get rolling big time. I'm trying to, Since we can't get much red, I'm trying to work on black. Prowler can place 
friendly and enemy strike tiles on the board with his black ability. All right, we're gonna get hit by this countdown. I don't think that's a big deal. Maybe a green will drop. Let's move over to this guy. I don't want a new character to come in yet. Missed it by one turn. Yeah, we better start knocking these guys out. Let's go ahead and play. I'll get my coat from Prowler. Did I turn the animations on? There we go. All right, so Prowler will fortify those enemy special tiles. Let's get this red match and knock this guy out. Didn't mention it, but I've, um, I've said it on a previous video with the new Ronin Hawkeye. Whenever we match red, he has a passive ability that uh, makes black attack tiles. Yeah, we better get these guys out quickly because they are going to destroy too much of the board and the other stuff I'm working on. How could I get a board with hardly any red? Hmm. Well, hate to lose that strike tile, but worth it to avoid that countdown. Well, I think what I should do here, let's go ahead and play Disabling Blow from Hawkeye. We have a ton of purple AP so far. It uh, places a countdown tile that, and it deals damage at 1839 and stuns the target. You can choose whatever tile you want to be the, um, to be the countdown. So it's kind of cool that you get to do that. I'm gonna just pick this yellow that has nothing to help me with and if it resolves, we'll get uh, a free match of that blue. And she'll be stunned every turn while that's on the board. Let's go back over here to Falcon. Better take him out. His red wing's gonna eliminate our special tiles every few turns. Got to find a way to get red. This is a pretty rough board. At least we got Falcon out. There we go. We have a red match. Will he leave it for us? Probably not. Oh, lucky. Great. Okay. Let's... Take on Psylocke here, and we can finally get to business with what we've been trying to do. There's a lot of enemy specials on the board now. Hopefully we can start to get lineups where we can match those away. This team should be well ahead of us usually in any other match. Let's go ahead and play Vibranium Virtuoso. It will fortify our unfortified specials as a priority and then places other random uh, fortified tiles on the board. Now we can go to town. This should be pretty fun. Um, here is a notice our cost, our ability costs are now reduced because of all those fortified tiles. Blue drops green. Big time. Alright, let's play, I'll get my code again for more strike tiles, and we have more special tiles on the board than the enemy team, so now's a good time to play Tinker's Toys, it does damage and stuns the target enemy, plus does team damage if we have more specials than the others, it's a really pretty big deal, uh, 42.56 up front, 30.53 to the side enemies. 
would have stunned him if he would have survived that blow. Oh man, do we not have more specials than the enemy team? Maybe we don't. <laughs> well, we have Wolverine here. Let's give him a shot from the Twin Blasters. Maybe we'll get uh, a stun if he survives the blow. Got him all the way out. You do get the damage for the destroyed tiles. And um, we can win here with another shot of green. But what I want to do is match a fortified tile. Do you see these? Uh, there's a black there and a black team up or a attack tile. Watch this. We get that 2,000 damage on each. And that was a super easy win after our initial frustrations that could have been a really much more efficient fight usually if the board goes your way with red early all right but at least we got the fight in there let's go ahead and take on the behemoth burrito today featuring four star eddie brock venom we'll run right into it here i am kind of a fan of uh, uh one or two of the abilities from venom he has a really hard hitting yellow if you play it right and uh, a lot of people forget about the passive side of his black it does reduce enemy protectile value kind of like a, a live reduction it doesn't decrease their their um, value displayed on the board but uh, with when matches happen is when the actual reduction takes place but anyway separate from that um, he does increase his own match damage on his colors and matches against him are increased by the enemy so that's kind of fun to know that and um, his lethal protector is yellow costs nine so it's not too bad it is 5,000 plus damage initially but adds 1500 plus damage for each protectile on the board up to is it five or six so that can be a really big damaging blow and then uh also, Symbiotic Fury does damage up front, plus um, more damage for enemy special tiles on the board. So, if you do enough damage as you play, he will give the enemy team a protectile every time you do enough damage. So, we're going to try to get some big matches here. Got our green ready. By the way, green is reduced in cost for the number of enemy specials on the board. So it's a uh, cost of 10 right now. And uh, let's try to get some protectiles out there. Hopefully I can get this yellow match. Yep, we'll get the one at the bottom. Not really getting it. Alright, this match 4 might be strong enough to produce a protectile. There it is. For the enemy team. So we have both of Venom's abilities ready to play. Let's see if we can... There we go. Get some attack tiles from Ant-Man on the board that'll reduce the cost of our green even further in a turn or two here and we're about to knock out Thor just for match damage alright, it only costs 7 now because of all those enemy special tiles that's great, let's go ahead and hit Dokken with uh, Symbiotic Fury It'll destroy a lot of tiles randomly on the board for the number of enemy specials that were on the board. Cool. We can play green again. Let's do it just for fun. Massive overkill on four there. But every time we do enough damage, we get an enemy protectile on the board. And now we've got plenty of damage built into lethal protector for the final win. All right. Not bad at all. It would have been cool if we could have knocked someone out with 3-star Bullseye's ability. And we would have gotten a whole board full of strike tiles to work with. And then that damage would have really ramped up the protectiles.
from Venom. But easy win, nevertheless. Let's go ahead and get into our tokens that are left over from yesterday's big poll that everybody missed. And then we'll take on some PvP action. Go from there. Let's see, where are we at with this taco vault? We just got Gambit. Tomorrow is Angel. Maybe I'll do a sec separate video for those 60 plus taco tokens since it'll take a, a really long time on this video if we did it today. Um, so let's just take our one shot here in Webbed Wonder. Just a two star. The Heroes for Hire deal, I talked a little bit about it before. Um, Star-Lord is the feature in the Crash of the Titans for another day and a half or so. And then the next five-day cycle goes to Main Event Hulk. So prepare to level him up if you haven't already to be able to compete in the Crash. And I wanted to point out this uh, big news. The Heroes for Hire deal is out for Mordo. And if you haven't heard the reason why his champion level rewards are being updated for a five-star character and you can probably guess yes it is five-star doctor strange he will mortal will now be rewarding uh, doctor strange covers at uh, every 20 or so levels in his champion rewards so hey this is a decent deal if you need uh, three covers on mordo two legendary tokens and some uh, Hero points and ISO 8 if that will help you. Go for it. If uh, you, if it won't help you that much, uh, you know, sometimes I only buy hero point deals. There's not a huge amount of hero points in this deal. but So I'm going to pass on it. I don't need a lot of mortal right now. But hey, let me know if you guys are doing that and if it gets you toward a Doctor Strange cover. That's great. So Elite, we just have a couple of tokens left over got two stars heroic tokens we've got six normal plus the 10 pack we'll do the 10 pack today since i lost my video from yesterday maybe we'll get something good to show you guys i did over let's see about 10 some heroics in a row yesterday maybe 12 and i only got one three star out of all those 12 tokens there's a three star this time punisher And that's it. Let's see what the daily draw gives. Just another two star. So we didn't run too hot there. That's okay because this 10 pack has higher increased draw rates toward your bonus hero settings. Um, about 1 in 12 instead of your normal odds are uh, about 1 in 20. And the draw rates for four stars are 1 in 14 instead of 1 in 16. So a little bit of increased odds here. Let's see if we can make it uh, good with the viewer luck. Let's go. There it is. We got a four-star Wiccan in the 10-pack. That's pretty awesome. And Star-Lord, four-star. Two four-stars from a 10-pack is really quite good. And we got a four-star bonus hero of Shuri because of those higher odds. I had to quickly um, add Shuri as my bonus hero uh, and uh, take it away from my uh, Civil War Spider-Man, the Iron Spider, because I made a huge mistake in the covers that we got yesterday. So here's what happened real quick in case you follow a little bit al uh, along at home. Uh, Infinity War Spider-Man is at 305. I need to get him to level 320 for a five-star back in black Spider-Man cover. That's the main goal. But my mistake yesterday was I got a cover for Valkyrie, and that's all good, of course, but at level 320, she rewards me with a five-star Gladiator Thor cover. And I need Shuri to feed Okoye covers faster than Valkyrie feeds Thor covers because Thor's match damage, I talk about this probably endlessly to you guys, um, his match damage on blue and purple 
is 92 and 84. And Okoye is 92 and 85. So if I add that cover to Thor, he will then be tanking blue and purple random matches and leave him out in front and exposed to match damage from the enemy teams in PvP. And I play Thor and Okoye a lot, like a lot of people do, and it's been so nice having Okoye tank those random colors instead of him. So I'm going to wait, and uh, real quick I'll show you. I have this Thor cover that I wanted to wait on Valkyrie for 14 days before adding it to buy me extra time, um, but now I'm down to less than 14 days on Thor, if you get what I mean. <laughs> so kind of a mistake there, not a huge deal, but maybe I can push Shuri up to get a cover for Okoye in a couple levels, and then the Thor cover won't be a big deal, right? Sure. Let's see, I've just championed Hawkeye in the video yesterday, it had a bunch of his covers in, cool, and Storm. One good thing about the video that corrupted that I was recording yesterday is right at the end I was going to do a, uh, I was going to champion a five star character. And the video corrupted and I didn't do that so I saved it for this one for you guys. So we are going to champion a five star character today. Don't let me forget before it gets too late level on Punisher and Gambit here. Rocket and Groot earned a couple of levels. And Thanos. I added so many rewards in yesterday, so we're already done with our three stars. Need to duplicate Blade and Star-Lord soon. Four stars. Well, we had about 45 or so yesterday. Here we are with these guys. We got a Winter Soldier from the Thanos PvP that's running right now. Wiccan from our 10 pack, along with Star-Lord. 22k health now, that's great. And the Shuri cover I can add right away. She goes to 318, and uh, if I could get two more levels in her in the next uh, little less than two weeks, that would help a whole lot. Not sure I'm gonna be able to do it at all since I have no more legendary tokens to be drawing. We'll see how that goes. And so that's it for our roster rewards for now. Let's get into some PvP action. So I'm gonna, uh, we'll play a little in Behold Thanos here and then we'll champion a five-star character. And then uh, we'll play a couple more matches in the simulator uh, for the season. This has been a pretty fun event actually. And um, playing with uh, three-star Thanos that's huge, humongous boosted to over 50,000 health at max level is a pretty big deal. And so I'm at this point where, yeah, I'm at this point where I can only queue up Kitty and Rocket and Groot teams. That's funny. So I'm going to actually do something here. I'm going to try to lower my score real quick. Just pick a couple of random characters in the borrowed character. And let's uh, retreat. You win, sir. I lose 34 points. Maybe we can queue up a couple of different enemies now that we changed our score quite a bit. We saw one different person so far. Maybe I'll have to do that again. Okay, here we go. Um, let's go ahead and take on this team. This should be pretty fun. And we had a request to see Lockjaw in action as a four-star character. I think we can get him into the into the fray. Um, to make things not take too long, I'm going to play him along with um, Okoye, who really has a couple of good features with Lockjaw. Let's see if we can make them happen. Let's see. I think we should boost red and yellow for sure for her. And yeah, let's boost his green because Lockjaw's green ability works really well with Okoya. Hopefully we'll see that happening in a moment. So Lockjaw's green ability 
uh, puts charge tiles on the board, and if the if if one or more of the charge tiles happen to be in the enemy team's strongest color, he does damage from uh, the ability called the dog that bit you. So he places he converts eight random tiles to charge tiles. Random. It doesn't you don't get to pick what color they're going to be. So then his passive is he'll do pretty decent damage at cover level five over 3,000 damage every single turn if there is a blue charge tile because that happens to be the enemy team's strongest color for table and silver surfer. Okay, I think that makes sense. Let's try to rush green, although I have to start with the match four in either black or purple. We'll start with black. Looks like they're gonna run pretty good against us, right? So, let's look for green matches, but while we're going to build up uh, Okoye's abilities a little bit also. And I think if this goes well, you guys are going to get a pretty good laugh at how good Lockjaw can play along with Okoye in the right situations. Not always necessarily, but okay, let's get... Another red here, so we have her abilities ready to go, and then now we can focus on Lockjaw, I think. Lockjaw's blue ability is actually a lot of fun, and has a lot of uh, different choices to go along with it. It is, a, it is board dependent on what color is most prevalent on the board, but you can wait to play it for the right time. Cool, all right, so we have Lockjaw's ability ready to play. There is a number of blue tiles on the board in safe locations, so let's go for it. Here's the dog that bit you. Hope for a blue charge tile. Couple of them, and one's at the very bottom. That's perfect. Check this out. Let's go ahead and play Aquarius Yellow. Maybe we'll get a couple of free matches in team up. We did, and um, I have a match four in team up but I'm not going to do that maybe we'll match them off the board yep that's so perfect if, uh, if the enemy team happens to get another turn you'll see oh I left them extra move on the board did you see how fast that happened uh, we better take out Thanos next watch this we have so much team up uh, AP. This is ridiculous. We have 18 team up AP, and uh, don't forget, Okoye adds that damage to what our um, to what our other abilities are going to do. Watch this at the beginning of the turn for Thanos. The dog that bitch is going to hit him for 3,000 plus. That 21 team up AP is incredible, and Okoye also adds to the damage from. Three star Thanos' court death. We didn't even get a chance to play Lockjaw's Blue. I should have probably played that first, but I, th I was hoping you guys would get a quick look at how fun that can be and how quick it can be. Let's see, if we don't have any other good combos here, there's the same guy. I'd hate to hit him twice in a row. Let me skip just a couple more. Team we could go for. Sorry, I hate to waste video time on skipping in PvP, but it's a real deal. This guy has a four star team out. I was going to play another four star team of our own, uh, fully four star plus Thanos. Let's go with Dazzler and Nico. That should be pretty fun and a little bit of a challenge to win. Before that, I played the other two four stars in my last video, I believe, a four star Iron Fist and Colson. Those guys do really well together. I think, uh, I think we can win here as long as we stay on top of Iron Fist's colors. Let's go. So with these two, Nico is excellent at improving the strength of your special tiles if you have more of the special tile type on the board than the enemy. 
So we're going to really try to jump out at... Well, I'm going to take every match four that's there probably, but we really need to make a run toward red and then green. We have enough green to play Dazzler's team damage ability. Cool. But we'll wait to play Dazzler's green until we have her red also ready to go. They have five black already. That's going to be a little concerning. Whoa! Viewer luck big time in that cascade. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> well, now let's. Uh, we have 12 red. Dazzler's red does really well for a cost of 10, but then it also puts extra strike tiles on the board for every three you have above that. So let's try to get up to 13 or 16 before we play it. But we'll start off with Trifecta from Nico. She, uh, it's called Trifecta because she places one of each special tile type on the board. All right, those actually showed up in pretty good locations. And uh, we have a black that drops green. Oh, that red is bad. Lose our protectile. We'll get more here in a little bit. So, no way to get any red matches. There, we should get that one on the left. Here next. Whenever they play an ability, Colson automatically produces a countdown tile that does damage. And then whenever a countdown resolves, he earns free AP randomly for their team. That's really a pretty big drawback. Um, yeah, this is fine. Black drops red. And then we can get... Oh, look at that. Lucky matches over on the other side. Cool. We're rolling real hot in this match. Alright, so Colson's down to a pretty low amount of health. Let's do this. Let's play Dance Floor Queen now that we're up to 18 red. We're going to get 5 strike tiles plus 3 additional for every 3 red AP over 10. Check this, it's amazing. Look at all of those strike tiles. Now don't forget, Nico is going to increase their strength every turn. While we have that out, let's play Heal. He puts uh, Protect Tiles on the board and heals Nico for quite a bit. Now, with all those special tiles on the board, let's play Sounds of Light and Fury. It's only cost of 7, so team damage is really pretty good. Damage plus extra damage for special tiles. Look at this. 8,500 plus damage for death. Great. Put more Protect Tiles on the board. Let's play this again. And uh, one single move will knock out Iron Fist. Um, let's just do... I know we're going to lose a couple of special tiles here, but... It's already over. That was a pretty good lucky run for us. And we crossed 900 points. We'll probably take a few hits there with that team out, but that's fine. Let's go over into the shield simulator, and before we do that, we are finally going to get to the point where we champion a five-star character. This is a character I've been working on for a very long time, um, mentioning in probably every single video endlessly. We finally got the last, the 13th cover for Silver Surfer that we needed from Mr. Fantastic, who also earned covers from Three Star Black Panther on his champion level rewards and um, it, it was funny we had a, a long road and then we just had a natural draw of Mr. F to uh, get him to the level 340 that we needed this is it we're gonna champion Silver Surfer right now okay so he's a base level champion of 450 if we get another cover it will earn us a legendary token but I think we're going to run him at 5-5-3 five, five, for the most, most, uh, most matches. Sometimes if we don't 
need to use his red. We'll, we, we may spec his red down and his black ability up. Perfect Bean costs 9 AP, and uh, he restores 13,675 health and converts four random basic tiles of your choice into charged tiles. That's really pretty awesome because you can choose um, the color. You can't choose specific tiles that get charged, but you uh, pick one and then that color um, becomes four charged tiles. Cool. The passive side of his blue ability can be amazing. Silver Surfer cannot be stunned. That's so great. With the um, up-and-coming four-star bishop uh, appearing in more teams, a champion surfer is going to help a lot for that. And, of course, any other time where a stun is a big deal. Cosmic Beam only costs seven, so that's a very inexpensive ability. It deals 9,500 damage, so not huge damage, but again, the cost is so, so cheap. And then um, he creates three random charge tiles that you don't get to pick the color of. But that can speed up your other abilities if you get matches with those charge tiles. And Silver Singularity is a lot of fun, actually. It costs 12, so it's pretty expensive. But you could play blue on black to um, set up charge tile matches uh, for black, and that'll speed this up. Uh, but anyway, it creates a three-turn black hole, which consumes four random tiles adjacent to it, uh, friendly or enemy or whatever, I believe we'll see, and um, uh, every turn until it counts down, and then when it expires, it deals damage when the black hole closes, a 57.25. So I could spec this up to a three-turn a black hole that consumes five tiles instead of four and then when it closes it deals 82 45 damage i think we're going to get a lot out of the ap generation more than the damage so let's run him like this yep i already took a big hit <laughs> we'll play more in that pvp later so here's a fun team maybe we'll take on silver surfer with our own they do have a vulture so let's plan this out accordingly. Um, our surfer will be in the middle. Let's get Archangel here to handle Vulture. We won't have to worry about him going airborne. And we'll only play his green ability. So green, red, black, blue. So purple, yellow. Let's get a four star that can do purple, yellow to um, enhance these other two. Boy, Main Event Hulk is sure a good purple-yellow. I think I'd probably play him too much, but I could see him being really good on this team. Let's go with it. If I plan to use his yellow, I usually spec it hit at cover level 5 and his green down from 5. His green is really useful at power level 5 also. This is what we'll do here. Um, let's see. Let's boost blue. We also get purple, red, and let's try to get through and earn our own black for the black hole. Let's see. Here we go. First match with the brand new champion, Silver Surfer. Good job, Hulk, earning us a bunch of starting AP. That's great. Let's take on Thor first. He's probably the most dangerous, and if we can get him knocked down to a health amount we can handle easily. The enemy team does not have a purple ability, so they shouldn't be trying to steal that AP from me. Hulk will do a random tile swap of two tiles when you have his passive set at level 5. It swaps two pairs of tiles instead of just two tiles. I kind of want the enemy team to get a little bit of black just so they can send Vulture Airborne. Because Archangel will handle him automatically. We'll uh, stun him and do damage. Hulk, when you swap two green tiles, that's not going to do anything. Just wanted to let you know. If they take that black match, that will set us up with the green match four. So we'll see if they do it. Not what I wanted. Okay. But we have Surfer's Blue ready to play for Perfect Being. 
And there is a black match available on the board. It might be smarter to play this on purple since the enemy team won't be going for, for purple. And we could get a gamma power bomb played pretty easily. But let's do what we intended here. There we go. When you match a when you make a match three, that includes a charge tile. You get five AP for the match instead of just three. That's pretty good. And um, I think we'll be able to get another random match or so with black in it. Wow, there's a blue match four over there, but I have... Yeah, I better do it. There's a way to set off a match four in purple. Ooh, and we still get a chance to do it. I was afraid that Hulk would misalign it. So Thor has about 34,000 health. Let's move off of him. Let's go to Surfer here. We've got a blue that drops a four shot purple. Or make it an extra move. Awesome. Yellow drops black. And we're set for a black hole. Don't worry about the Vulture. Archangel handles him automatically in a great way. Play Hulk's yellow for all of those countdowns. And now we can play si Silver Singularity. Let's play this in a, in a really interesting location. Let's play it down here because maybe he will consume those black charge tiles and we can get a lot more, a lot more black built up to play it again. And I want to make sure that he doesn't remove the fortification from our yellow countdowns. We'll see. You guys probably already know the answer to that. We have our Gamma Power Bomb ready to play. Let's wait on that a second. Cosmic Beam's going to hurt. Hulk can handle that. I should have had Surfer take that damage. Since he can heal. Alright, here goes our... Countdowns and Silver Singularity. It did remove the fortification from the countdown tile, but it also consumed those two charge tiles. That's the great plan here. Okay. Excellent. Uh, we have Thor. Oh, we don't need to hit him yet. Let's do... Enemy down. Damage plus removing random AP. And we can pick up a nice green shot. Vulture's down from that. Cool. I think this team's doing pretty well. We've got Thor. Over here, let's hit him with a Cosmic Beam with the 9,000 damage. Right before we hit him with the Gamma Power Bomb, we have tons of purple. Let's check this out. He's out. Oh, and we knocked Surfer out too. We didn't even have a chance for our, for our Black Hole to collapse and get the damage from that way. Wow, okay. Not a bad run on our first... First play with our champion Silver Surfer. Let's take him into another match. And look at this. We get to take on another Surfer. Don't feel as though I see him too often. He has full health. That's great. So who else could we play him with that will specialize in charged tiles? Well, I have a team that's kind of a, a fun favorite of mine. And if we do this, though, um, I want to play Gambit and Cable. We won't be able to play Surfer's red ability because Gambit won't let anyone else on your team play red. I think we're going to do fine anyway. And we could have changed the spec layout on Surfer to increase his black, but let's just go on with the match. We're going to win this easily, I think. Not a lot of blue out there. But I, I do believe I want to try to make a quick run on blue for a couple of reasons. We can play Surfer's Blue or Cables. 
We'll play Surfer's Blue today just because he's our feature. Look at this drop. Wow, nice. Um, can't turn down a match four that has a critical tile in it. And we already have our green uh, at 12 or, or more to play Cable's green ability. It's pretty crazy to have that ready to go before you've done anything else. Um, man, I just want to start with blue. Oh boy, here we go. Now they're going to catch up. <laughs> Alright. So Surfer doesn't tank any colors in this scenario, however. That's too bad. I was thinking he might be up front on blue AP instead of cable, so maybe I should prioritize getting a couple more levels in Surfer so that he can do that. We're up to 18 red. Um, I wanted to get... Man, drop a blue for me. Nope. Yeah, this team's drawback definitely is not being able to get Surfer up front to take damage since he's the only one that can heal. Okay. Finally have our blue match ready to go. And here's what we're going to do. So there's a couple ways you could do this. You could play Cable's Blue, but then you have to hope for a match in green to create green charged tiles um, and stun the target enemy. What we're going to do is play Perfect Being, and we're, we'll just select Red, because with Red charged tiles on the board, Gambit's Red can go absolutely nuts. Uh, let's play Aces and Mates three times in a row. This should just about take Surfer out here. Got him. We'll um, hit Jean Grey with this one. And we're earning red back as we destroy those charged tiles. Let's move over to... Old Man Logan. And again, we're earning AP every time we destroy those charged tiles. Three AP each one. Nuts. Look at that. Old Man Logan's already down to 6,800. We'll play Raging Cajun to overwrite some of those strikes. And create uh, very hard hitting countdowns. And we can go ahead with Silver Singularity. I guess I'll just play it in a spot near a bunch of charged tiles. We can play our strike tiles from the table. And that's right before we hit the low health enemy with the target damage from Plasma Barrage because the additional damage will hit the secondary target. Gene Gray gets hit with 17,000 of that. That's cool. We can um, play this again. Let's just choose black this time. Once this team got rolling, it got rolling in a huge way. One more turn. Oh, okay. Yep, there it worked. Our Black Hole earned us just enough red AP to play Aces and Apes again, and this will end the match. Wow, that was pretty pretty fun. Okay, guys, well, we'll uh, get into more PvP action again soon. We're near a 1,000 points, so we'll probably make a quick rush in one or two more videos to get to that 2,000-point level. I am very... Um, motivated to get to that green cover for Ronin Hawkeye before I wait till the last day and we've got a week and a half to do it so that should be just fine. I feel as though I forgot some stuff but with losing that video yesterday I'm not, not remembering what uh, what I you know mentioned before and plan to for this time so 
if I left anything out, hit me up with it in the comments below. And if you want to see any four star characters in action, request them and I will take them into a five star team into the shield simulator and cover their abilities and um, maybe a little bit about the synergies between that character and who we've picked to go along. Well, that's it for today. If you need more MPQ on YouTube, hit up MPQ Mastery and our other friends in the links below my main video area. And if you're watching on uh, our old previous videos on Twitch, hit up Enios04 and like and follow our links there. Thanks again, guys. Have a great night. See you next time.